Hello, everybody, and welcome to Mr. Stansfield's education videos. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Adobe Bridge and getting our um, Google Drive organized on our computers. So the first thing to note is that you want to set up Google Drive. So here I'm on um, Najah's computer, and I've got the Google Drive up here. You can see everything is up to date, so we're good to go there. Um, we're going to launch Adobe Bridge. So that's this program right here, BR. If you don't have the Bridge program, in your dock, what you can do is search for it by clicking the little magnifying glass here and just type in Bridge, and you'll see Adobe Bridge pops up. Once you launch Bridge and are logged into the Adobe account, the next thing that we want to do is figure out what we're looking at here on this screen. I recommend setting up your Adobe Bridge the way that I'm doing here. The first thing to do is to take this filters collection, export workflow, these windows, and you can see when I mouse over this line right here, I can click and drag that down. We don't need those. Over here under favorites, you can see there's another tab called folders. I recommend clicking on folders here. It's going to say um, that uh, Bridge would like access to files on a network volume. You can click OK. That's basically giving permission for us to navigate to our Google Drive, which is what we want to do. You can see here in the content window that there is a My Drive folder. There's also a Google Drive folder. The folder we want is called My Drive. So let's go ahead and double click on My Drive. And then over here, if you have the Folders tab selected, you can see there's a little caret, this little kind of sideways V. If you click on that, you can see all of the subfolders in your Google Drive. In this case, we're going to set up a folder and this is going back to Classroom. We go to Google Classroom, and we look at this post right here. You can see one of the things that I want you to do is organize your Google Drive. We want to make a new folder called Photo One. And then every new project, we want to make a new subfolder. So we can do that right here in Bridge, actually. With My Drive selected, you can go up here to File and then new folder, or you can see the shortcut key is shift command N. So we're gonna click on new folder. We're gonna type in photo one. And now that that folder is in our Google Drive, you'll see it pop up over here, photo one. If you click on it, there's nothing in there yet. So we're gonna go ahead and make a new, another new folder, file, new folder, and we're gonna call this abstract images. That's because the name of the project that we're working on is called abstract images. Every new project that you make should get a new folder with the title of the project. And so we can see if we click on the little expand icon here, that sideways V becomes a regular V, and we can see the subfolder of Photo One. So now in my drive, we have Photo One and Abstract Images. All right. The next thing, just in terms of setting up your um, Google Drive, I'm sorry, uh, your Adobe Bridge, Drag this preview window down here and make it a little bit bigger. We do want to see some metadata, and it would be helpful to actually see a photograph. So I'm just going to click on a, on a photograph here to load that metadata. What you want to do is drag this down so that the info right here, um, this metadata, uh, these two windows are just visible. So it gives us a nice big preview over here on the right side of the screen. So that's going to be setting up your Adobe Bridge program to look how it looks in my demo videos. The cool thing about Adobe Bridge is that if you double click a photo here in the content window, it's going to launch it in Adobe Photoshop. So let's double click on this photo just to show you what that looks like. This is how you set up your Adobe Bridge. You're going to navigate to the My Drive folder and get your folders organized. And then once you're here, um, you, if once you're in Bridge, rather, if you double click on the photo, it'll launch it in Adobe Photoshop, and then you can do your edits and stuff like that. Now, I do want to add one more thing, which is when you are saving your work, a lot of the videos that I've made feature an older version of Photoshop that go file, save as. We actually want to most of the time save a copy rather than save as. So if you go to save as, you'll see this pop up right here. I recommend clicking Don't Show Again and save on your computer. We do not want to save to the Creative Cloud, even though that's what Photoshop wants us to do. We want to save it to our computer. Click this little down caret here, navigate to the right place. In this case, I've got the My Drive folder right here. I can scroll down and I can find my Photo One folder and abstract images. 
and then changing the format. So in this case, if it's a Photoshop file, sometimes the save as dialog box doesn't give us the option of saving as a JPEG. So you'll need to click save a copy right here, right? And it just opens up a new window. You can access that window by going here, file, and then save as a copy. You can see there are some shortcuts. Shift, Command, S will save as. Option, Command, S will save as a copy. Save as a copy just gives you the option of changing the format here to a JPEG. If you have an HEIC file or a Photoshop document, sometimes it won't let you change it to a JPEG from the Save As menu. So we use Save as a copy. Whenever you're saving your work, you wanna make sure that you do not change the file extension manually. If you change your file format down here, say to Photoshop or let's say bitmap, it's going to manually, I'm sorry, it's going to automatically change that file extension, but you never want to just manually go in there and delete it. You always leave that, whatever the file extension is there, and then you can change the name before the period. So those are just a few things that will hopefully help us to get set up and going with our abstract images project and getting us set up for the rest of the semester. Again, getting bridged so we have our folders, content, and preview windows lined up here with a little metadata window down here and then navigating to the right folder and keeping our photo one folder organized here. We can do that right here in Adobe Bridge. So hopefully that helps you get going on these projects.